Hello and welcome Sudoku friends to a hard Sudoku by SudokuExchange.com. We are going to dive right in and this is a hard puzzle as I said, but we do have a couple of fours blocking down and a couple of fours blocking over. So there's only one place for a four now in this box number nine and that's here. We also have fours blocking up and down here and one four blocking over and another four blocking over. So four goes here and that's already it for the fours for this puzzle. That's it. Now I want to turn my attention to these couple of ones blocking over and this one blocking up. So here's a one. Can you spot a seven for the bottom shoot here? It shouldn't be that difficult. I'll give you a couple of seconds. See, we got uh, seven blocking across here and one blocking down. So a seven must go in one of these two squares and they block over. This seven also blocks over and the seven blocks down. So here is the seven. And now we can easily spot another seven just above it almost. Seven blocking down and up and over. Here is a seven. And of course we do scan left now. These two sevens block everything over here except for this square. The last couple of sevens I think we will have to wait with. A seven can go here or here and also here or here. But I don't know about up here. There's seven blocks across, so we can have sevens here. So they'll just have to wait a little. We do have a two, however. Can you spot it? It's in the center shoot. That's right. This is two blocks down, and this two blocks over, so a two must go here. And uh, you should be able to find a digit now for this center box number five. One way of doing this is to spot that we need an eight, six, and a five to fill the box. And we do have an eight and a six blocking this square. Therefore, it can only be a five. These now have to be eight and six, and there's nothing much I can do about that right now. So I'll have to look at something else. Let's look in a different direction at something else. See if you can find a six for the leftmost shoot. Actually, you can find two sixes, and it's not really that hard, I think. Look here. The six blocks down, this six blocks over. Here must go a six. And these sixes block down, and this six blocks over. Here's another six. And that gives us, of course, the eight and the six that we have to enter here. The six blocks over, so an eight goes here and the six here. And we can find easily, I think, the last couple of sixes because these sixes block up here. This blocks over, so here's a six. And that blocks over. This six also blocks over, and we got two sixes blocking up. So the last six goes here. Here we now need an eight and a three. And therefore, here we need a five and a one. This one blocks up, so the five must go here and the one here. Over here, we need to enter a nine. And here we are looking for a three and a two now. So let's have a look at column five. We need to find a three and a two and a seven. Let's start with the three. It can't go here or here, of course, so it must go here. And these have to be now a two and a seven. 
this seven blocks across, forcing it two here and a seven here. This two blocks across, this two blocks down, here's another two. These two squares now must be a five and a three. We need a one, eight, and a nine to complete row eight. There's an eight blocking down here, and there's an eight blocking here. So here's an eight. Here now we need a nine and a one. This eight blocks down here, and this eight blocks across. So here's an eight. And again, we need a one and a nine for two squares. So one and a nine here, here, here. We have a very common pattern here, a seven and an eight here, and a seven and an eight here, and a seven and an eight here. So we can place candidates for the seven and an eight in these two squares. So without actually knowing where they go, we know that this square and this square and this square cannot be a seven and an eight. So they must be a two, three, and a nine. So this is a three or a nine. This is a two or a three, and this is a two or a nine. Also not very helpful. There is a small revelation, I think, for this row here. The row needs a one, two, seven, eight, and a nine, and we do have a nine and a seven and a two here. So this is a one, eight. We have a seven, nine, and a one here. So this is a two, eight. We also have a seven and a nine here. So seven and nine can't go here, and seven and a nine can't go here. What does that tell us? It, it tells us that these two squares have to be a seven and a nine. On the surface, it may not seem as if it's of much help, but it actually is because it gives us an eight. It gives us an eight because we have eights blocking up here and here and over. And earlier we said that these two squares have to be a seven and an eight. Now that this is a seven or a nine, it follows that it cannot also be an eight, which now must go up here. And this must be the seven, and this must be the nine. That makes this square a nine, and this is a one. We got seven blocking over here, so here's a seven, and here's a one. Up here, we are looking for a one and a five. We got five struggling, so one of these is a five, yes, we knew that, I think. No, but we knew that. Still a uh, three and a five here. But let's see, we found this one here, so this automatically becomes a nine, and so does this. One more nine, I think, somewhere. Yeah, nine blocks down and over, here's a nine. So we got all the fours, all the sixes, all the sevens, and all the nines for the grid. What are we going to look for here? We're going to look for a five and a three. Still not possible. Yes, it is. Here's a five. So the three goes here and the five here, of course. And that makes this a three. Three blocks up, so here's another three, and a three goes here. More threes, yes, a three here, of course, because this three blocks up, right? So here's a three, and here, therefore, must be a two. Here we're looking for a one and a two. Can we get any closer? I think not yet. Here's also a one or a two. And across here, we will still need an eight, of course. Eight goes here or here. But let's do this one first. It's an eight, of course, and therefore this must be an eight. Goes without saying. This is now a one, two pair. There's a two blocking up. So here's a one, here's a two, two, and a one. 
only two squares missing here, a five and a two. The two blocks up here, so here's a five, here's a two. Five blocks over, five goes here, and here is a one. That was a neat little puzzle. I like the logic of the ones and the nines, and finding the solution to the seven, eight pair up here really solved this puzzle for us. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.